Hello, everyone. I am Violet Li, your Tai Chi examiner. I have written more than 700 articles since 2009. Yeah, cannot believe it. <laughs> so many years have, have passed. And, um, and recently, I went to a, a science conference hosted by Harvard Medical School and Asia Center for Integrative Medicine. Uh, I was presenting to a different subject. And most people, the attendees, are at a mature age like myself. <laughs> and uh, during a uh, reception, and also uh, somebody caught my attention. And there was a, a, a gorgeous uh, lady passing by, and she was going down the steps. And I was very rude. I just called her out and hey, excuse me. <laughs> and she was very kind. And, uh, and uh, she, she turned around and she stopped and turned around and looked at me. So I asked her, I said, mm, um, you, you look very young <laughs> and uh, younger than most uh, people here. Are you here for the, the conference? She said, yes, I am. And I, I got very curious. I said, so oh, why are you here? <laughs> she said, um, because I had uh, some issue, health issue, and, uh, and Qigong helped me. So uh, without uh, further ado, and I'd like to introduce you, uh, Alison Hallberg. And um, hello, Alison, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. It's great to see you again. Well, thank you very much for taking your time and uh, today and then to speak with us. I know you are very, very busy uh, with your uh, career and also your family life and uh, your, your um, investor, right? And then you're also a real estate aging. And uh, this is, uh, um, uh, how should I say, always on the run business. Yeah. I have a few friends <laughs> who, who are real estate aging. It's like, you know, they never have time to have lunch with me or oh. uh, even chat. They've just so 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 busy and even though sometimes they met with me and they just oh, oh excuse me and they have to answer the phone calls and so forth so i fully understand how busy and uh, your life can be right and then in addition you're, you're also an investor and i uh, i can imagine there are a lot of stress and uh, in your life so thank you again and uh, uh, for coming here and uh, share your story so, um, Thank you. so first of all, you want to just introduce a little bit of yourself uh, to uh, the audience? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Allison. I currently reside in Sarasota, Florida. I grew up in northern New Jersey, and um, my entire family, my parents, and myself and my son and my sister and her children, we all relocated to Sarasota, Florida in March of 2020. I so see. We are living down here now. I know uh, you uh, you always like to help people, right? Find the right place or a uh, right investment. So so that's great. And that's why you're so busy. And then uh, where I stop you and ask you the question, and then you say you have a health issue and uh, still going to help you. and. Can you tell us uh, what kind of issue you you have had? Sure. So I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder uh, in 2011, shortly after having my son. It is presents as rheumatoid arthritis in my body. Uh, there are many different forms of autoimmune, from psoriasis to uh, uh, all different kinds. Um, and, and they present in different ways. And over the years, I have treated it at, um, through doctor's suggestions, which has been different types of medicines. Uh, most recently, biologics. Before that, um, methotrexate and um, some very hardcore medicines that have really adverse side effects. And the medicines for me, um, because I, I believe I have an overactive mind to begin with, 
affected me very adversely mentally. Oh, I'm so sad to hear that. Yeah, and it would be hard to notice for myself because my life is so busy. I was a single mother raising a little boy and I have a full-time real estate brokerage career and uh, investments and a home and all these things that I'm juggling and a dating life. And um, it was easier to see from the outside looking in. So it would actually be family members. I, I would notice at times that I just wasn't feeling myself. I would be overly anxious. Um, I started to get down, very depressed. I would be crying on the way to work and just was not myself. Mm -hmm. and, uh, my family is the ones who brought it to my attention that, you know, this maybe this is the medicine that you're on. What are you taking? And I, I, I didn't believe them at first. And started sharing with the rheumatologists how I was feeling and they and I say they because I've seen many over the years um and they never really want to uh agree that it is possibly the medicines that are causing this or um that there might be another way to manage this disease uh with with or without medications or or doing something differently in, in the attempts to get off these medications. So it was very difficult because you have doctors telling you, no, it's not the medication, it's that you have a chronic disease and that's why you're anxious and you're anxious because you don't want to take medication. And you're so depressed. it's all in your head, is that right? Okay. <laughs> that, that's yeah. that's <laughs> bad, but um, I, I have heard that kind of stories and uh, when they, don't know what's going on. They just say, it's in your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, so, so this continued and it was a vicious cycle. I would come off all of the medications and I would feel a lot better uh, mentally, physically. And then the rheumatoid arthritis would come back and I wouldn't be able to button my son's shirt or walk down the stairs in the morning. And I would get back on another medication and maybe it would work for a year or so and then I'd start having other effects from it and it and it just kept going in this cycle. Um and then um most recently in December of uh I guess it was actually more fall of last year, um, I went through another one of these cycles and it was accumulation of um being burnt out at work and being on a medicine that was starting to have the same effects and making me very anxious and depressed and going through a bad breakup. And I like to say that I just crashed and burnt. I mean, I really, that's really the only way <laughs> I can explain it. And I knew there had to be another way. So I was just throwing stuff against the wall to see what worked. I went to therapists who sent me to psychiatrists to prescribe medications that made me worse. And, you know, I was just searching, searching, searching for something else. And I came across this book called Tai Chi for Depression, Tai Chi to Feel Depression, written by Dr. Kuhn. And she is a pretty good, she's a solid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I turned the book over. I ordered the book. I, I forget off Amazon or something. And I started reading it and turned the book over to read about the author and realized that she resides also in Sarasota now. So I immediately made an appointment with her and uh, went to see her and told her my problems and what I was going through. And it was the first time that a doctor said, you know, we can heal you and, and you might need to take medication for a little while, but we'll, you should be able to get off of it or the goal should be able to get off of it. And how is your lifestyle? What are you eating? And how is your stress levels? And, um, you know, all these things that the, the doctors here in the States rarely ask you. Yes, it's very different. And uh, I think uh, you and I, we learned that at uh, 
the the conference, uh, the the science yeah. conference we went yeah. to, and they kept uh, emphasizing so called the whole person health, yeah. and it it all matters. And uh, yeah, so uh, what do we eat and our lifestyle and and it can affect. Yeah, well, yeah. sorry for interrupting you. No, that's fine. Yeah, the, um, we'll get into the conference, but uh, she also, Dr. Kuhn also suggested that I try qigong. And I, I, you should I do really, acupuncture on you. Yes, yes. So she started treating me um, with acupuncture and acupressure, and initially just starting with a reset of my body because I was just a mess. <laughs> I didn't know which way was up or down, and started small, you know, with the diet, cutting out sugar, cutting out alcohol, um, cutting out other things, just the a, a whole food diet and acupuncture and acupressure and then the qigong she told me you know this will help you it will really help you it will calm your mind and so she was just starting a course and so I signed up and did her course and then she suggested I do her teacher training her level one certification because she strongly believes that uh, as you're learning as a student, you need to start teaching to progress. That's a, a part of the process of learning and sharing. Yeah, another you. thing, if you are trying to become a teacher and then you will pay a lot more closer attention to it, and then you probably will ask questions and exactly why. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so Very good. I, you know, at that time, I was like, well, I don't know. I'm going to teach, but I'll go through <laughs> to learn for myself. So mm -hmm. I went through her level one certification and I was really disciplined. I, I practiced every single day, um, every morning, and I started to notice a subtle change in my mind, mm -hmm. um, my mental health. I, you know, it was subtle but profound. I was starting to just I would walk around the block and notice a tree that was never there, um, how green the grass was, or um, it, it was really, really crazy. And I started to feel better physically as well. So you, uh, how about your rheumatoid arthritis pain? And uh, uh, now you're off the meds, right? So I came, I was able to come off all the medication and right. I was off everything. And I had was on uh, some anxiety medication at the time too. And I was able to come off everything and I felt wow. great. It took probably, probably um, about a month or so. And then I came off everything and uh, my RA That's doctor, very quick. That's very yeah. quick. Yeah. In a month. I still had some pain. I don't, I probably should have taken better notes. I still had some pain in the beginning, I remember, but it, uh, it, it went away and my mental health was great. Um, so that, I continued on that trend and continued um, doing the Qigong. And then the summer came. And I traveled to Thailand and I started eating and drinking whatever I wanted. And I fell out of my practice. And I would say within a couple of months, I started to feel the pain come back. I understand. So I, I um, really appreciate you share your story with us. And also within your, uh, what you just told us and the, uh, if I can sum that up. And uh, so uh, because your condition was severe and you were practicing a lot, so uh, approximately um, say how many minutes you practice because you, you you were at a conference and so many people were asking, say, what is the dosage, right? And then yes. because they, we are start, the, the, the medical and the science field start uh, treating uh, Tai Chi Chuan and Qigong as a medical intervention. So when we, we talk about a medical intervention, yes, very logically we ask, what's the dosage? So what was the dosage you were taking that time? 
you were do, well, doing lessons with her, right? And then yes. and also you practice, as you mentioned, uh, by yourself daily. Yeah. The practice by myself, I would say about a half hour. Very good. Uh huh. Yeah, it was about a half hour. You know, it, it's interesting because I also believe the quicker you can get into that meditative state, you know, there's some mornings that my mind is all over the place and it, it takes a little bit longer to get into the flow of it. Yes, very, very important. And a lot of time, you know, people think, oh, you just watch a video on YouTube or whatever and mimic the movement. But uh, uh, as a matter of fact, Tai Chi and Qigong is internal art. And you pointed out very well, you have to get into that state. If you are not in that state and the, the, the effect will compromise a lot. So that's very good. And uh, you, you're, you're able to notice that and then you know, also be persistent on that practice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm working on that now too. Um, cause I've since restarted the healing journey. Um, I'm not still not on any medications. I had a, a pretty bad flare, but I've uh, since started again. I started teaching a class. I consistently practice every single day. And I will say that physically, I, I do still have a little bit of pain. Mentally, I feel better than I've ever felt. Wonderful. So yeah. um, I, I think that you and I, we also learned that and uh, during the conference and uh, many scientists presented and uh, the residual effect of uh, Tai Chi and Qigong and uh, say, you know, the, the, the people participated in the, the study and uh, sometimes it's 12 weeks, sometimes longer. And uh, once they finish the, 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 how should I say, the, the study and they, they measure the, everyone and since they all improve and uh, their uh, symptoms are all reduced or disappear. But uh, many, they, they keep tracking uh, the patient's uh, progress and uh, some can last as long as like uh, 52 weeks after the, the treatment. So I guess for your case, it was like that, but then, then I guess the lifestyle and also, you know, eventually you, you will disappear, right? So, yeah. so, uh, so I guess you, uh, you, you're the living proof of uh, um, uh, this kind of uh, 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 theory. And um, that's what they found out and that's what you know and uh, also uh, experience and uh, thank you. So yeah. Um, yeah, very good. So now you're back and then you, you want to teach. Are you actually teaching right now? I am, yeah. I am teaching oh. a very beginner level class uh, every Thursday. Um, it's one of Dr. Kuhn's um, through her institute. So I took over one of her classes. Nice. Yeah. Well, I, I I did not ask you. I, I don't know if it, it's possible. You can just demonstrate a little bit. Since I I did not know you, you you actually are teaching now. <laughs> so, so, but I don't want to call you by surprise. And I don't know if uh, where you you're standing or sitting, uh, has enough room for you to 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 demonstrate or not. Um, I'm sitting actually. I don't know if I um. Can try and turn this. I don't know if you're going to be editing this. <laughs> okay. Would you like me to try and turn it? And yeah. Just do yeah. Sure. 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 That, that will, if, if you don't mind, I think that that will be good. And then so so uh, how should I say? Uh, the audience, the reader, can see uh, um, how complicated the the oh, yeah. uh, the, the, the exercises. Can they do it or, or whatever, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. very nice. Okay, you you got space, and then yeah. and then you may need to chill the the camera up a little bit so we can see your your head, see your pretty face. Okay, but but uh, okay, 
maybe a little bit too much. Just a bit. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, if, if your form is very long, you can just do part of it. And then, so at least we got uh, if you a lot of Qigong exercise, we do a lot of iteration, right? The same movement. And uh, you yeah. can just do just uh, like a, a two or three uh, iterations. That will be fine too. So we, we'll get a taste of it. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much, and uh, that was beautiful. And uh, no. sorry, I, I was I, I, I did not plan to play music until I saw you moving. I said, "Oh, this is beautiful. Let me find some music to match it up." And uh, so, not uh, doing a great job, but it, it's wonderful. Yeah. Is that a whole form, or that's just part of it? So that was just a couple of movements. So Dr. Kun teaches therapeutic Qigong, 36 movements of therapeutic. Um, How many healing. movements? Sorry, I, I missed. 36. 36, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then I am also um, training with a master out of Thailand. I traveled to Thailand over the summer and I met a master woman um she's uh i don't know how many generations but she's been practicing she showed me a picture of her little little girl practicing and um, her father was a master and so i started training with her uh two mornings i do a zoom with her uh, at 7 a.m so 7 p.m sounds like you're hooked you're hooked on this things right uh, can, can can you uh, I mean could you imagine like say two years ago you would be doing this and went to Thailand to to learn this art? No, and I just <laughs> with Dr. Kuhn because I said I just it, when you think that this simple movement can have such a profound difference in your health and your the way you feel and your life, it's, it's really hard to believe, you know, that this simple, simple exercise could heal you, could really. Yeah, so what, what did, did your family say that about it? And then well, and your son? My, my son laughs at me. I try and get him to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my children laugh at me too when I was doing yeah. it. And it my her, um is also taking one of the courses. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. We would sign her up and she loves it. She loves the stretching aspect of it. 
So, uh -huh. she, but but it, it looks so so gentle, not really stretching, stretching like you know some yeah. of the, the Western uh, style of a uh, stretching exercise. Yeah, it's very gentle, and uh, like I said, I just it's hard to believe that it can heal. And going to that conference was really a game changer for me because I was just embarking again on the second time that I'm doing this healing journey and to your point if I can put this in remission again to me that's the proof um, but to sit through this conference and hear all of these doctors showing this these studies and scientific proof that this actually changes the body on a molecular level um, our cellular level it was very encouraging and motivating for me because sometimes you think, Am I, you know, is this, doing any, is this doing anything? And I had just restarted within the week, within the past week. So it was very helpful for me. I was very encouraging, very motivating uh, just to hear that they are really incorporating this into medicine, into Western medicine. Yes, that's um, to me. Since I, as I mentioned, I I have written uh, seven hundred articles. Uh, in the past, I have read many uh, scientific studies, and uh, so uh, for most part, I I did have a good understanding. Uh, the Tai Chi and Qigong have great uh, health benefits, and uh, you know, I think what's cool about uh, the conference is not only they. They cited uh, a lot of the study and then to show, you know, again, you know, they're, they're beneficial for rheumatoid arthritis. That's one of the big things they talk about. That. They talk about depression, they're talking about stress and anxiety, and then it, it's all great. And uh, like I say, what's really, um, how should I say, um, makes me very, very excited was uh, they, they do side by side studies. Some of the side by side, um, the hearing art against, say, a physical therapy, and then yes. or against some other uh, exercise, or proven to be at least just equally as beneficial, if not more, right? And then, and another thing, as you pointed out, they talk about why, why it is so powerful, so good. As you also mentioned, it. and then how this you know the things works at the cellular level, and the, the, you know all those kind of things, and uh, so it's amazing. And uh, so I'm so glad uh, the um, your takeaway very much like me, and uh, and uh, it's a game changer for you. And I, yeah, and um, thank you very much uh, to to. To come to uh, today's interview, and then do you have any other words or wisdoms you want to share with uh, the readers in the audience? I would just like to share how beneficial and helpful this could be to a lot of people who feel lost and feel like their only choice is to take a drug for depression or or whatever it may be. Um, you know there. Are, and it's not to say they won't have to take medicine as well, but a combination of both Eastern and Western uh, and, and looking at the whole body, um, it could really change. It's changed my life. It has really changed my life. And very and so good. Ways. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, another thing, you know, and um, Tai Chi and Qigong doesn't have any side effect. So just in case you want to, to continue with certain in the Western medicine and the uh, Tai Chi Chuan uh, or Qigong definitely will not complicate that one and it will make uh, better for sure. And yeah. um, so your story is amazing and uh, I, um, I'm very, very, uh, you know, happy for you. You can, uh, um, you know, get rid of all the meds and uh, and then you can manage your life and much better. And uh, and then even more so, you're helping others. And I, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. 
Thank yeah. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for, for coming. <laughs> and um, so everyone, if you have questions for me or for Alison, and then you can and uh, just, uh, uh, how should I say, um, put down on your comments on the, the question, I mean, the, the, the section underneath the article or uh, underneath the, the YouTube video. Okay. And thank you again. And uh, see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.